Welcome back to Inside Politics. Our guest today is John Ray Clemens, a state representative and a candidate for mayor in the August 1st election. Mr. Clemens, uh, uh, the, the role of the mayor in public education in Davidson County is limited. Primarily, the mayor and the council give the money to the school board. They set the policies and they decide exactly how to spend the money. So as mayor, even though you're making a big deal out of education, there's not a whole lot of mayor can do, is that right? No, that's completely wrong. I think what you've heard are excuses from previous administrations, including this one with the finger pointing, the blame game going on. You know, my children are in public school. I'm gonna have all three of my boys in the same elementary school this year, and it's gonna be fantastic because I'll only have one trip to make every morning. <laughs> but moving forward, the reality is our teachers are facing incredible challenges every day in the classroom, and a lot of the challenges they're facing are what the children are bringing into the classroom. Our children are in our school seven hours a day. We need to fully fund those schools, we need to pay our teachers competitive wages, and we need to make sure they have the resources they need to do their job. Our children need social emotional learning instructors, they need counselors, they need a lot of resources in our schools. But the reality is, those children are outside the school system 17 hours a day in our community. And those children are facing incredible poverty, uh, about five to 6,000 of our children are estimated to be homeless, other housing instability, lack of access to transportation, and exposure to violent crime happening in their neighborhood. Whatever happens to those children out in the community over which the mayor and the Metro Council has a direct control and impact with their policies, they take into that classroom. So this finger pointing and blaming everything on our teachers and the school system, that's not gonna fly. Well, another big issue within education is some parents wanna have parental choice. They wanna have the ability to send their children to charter schools. Now they're going to want to in Davidson County to go into and use the education savings account, the vouchers, which may start a year early. As mayor, I don't think you've been a big fan of either one of those kind of ideas in the legislature. As mayor, what will you do to either encourage or discourage the school board to do more with charter schools and do more with the, char with the, with the vouchers? Well, there are some su successful charter schools. I don't think we need to expand our charter school system, I, and I think we need to take a look at making sure the existing charter schools are all performing well. They're part of our public school system. We must work with them. We, we must share ideas and information with them and make sure that the children in those schools are getting a quality education. We must also fund our traditional public schools. Right now, they're losing a lot of funding and they're gonna continue to lose funding. This voucher program that was pushed through, and, and you're right, I fought it. I fought it tooth and nail all year long. And unfortunately, we didn't have the help of Mayor Briley. You know, he decided to come up there to try to save face on the Community Oversight Board. But when it came to vouchers, a, a, a vote that we lost by one vote, mm -hmm. bill passed by one vote, he was nowhere to be found. Not a word out of the mayor's office, not a foot, didn't step a foot on Capitol Hill to help us or even to express his opposition to it behind closed doors with our delegation. And so we ended up having a, a voucher bill that passed and now it's gonna create real challenges for us in Nashville. An issue that has come up this summer that has sort of dominated the headlines for a while is what to do about these electric scooters, particularly in the downtown area. Do you believe they can be regulated? Is it time to ban them completely? The, the council seems to be wanting to do more regulation. If that doesn't work, ban them. You think they ought to go ahead and ban them now? Well, you know, first of all, it's a public safety issue. Right now, it's creating a public safety risk, not only for the users, but for those who are walking down our sidewalks, our, 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 the handicapped population, or disabled population in the city, visually impaired, others are having a real problem moving in and around our town because scooters are being left everywhere. They're being left in my front yard, they're being left on sidewalks all over the city. So yes, we need to enforce regulations. The companies need to be held responsible for enforcing regulations. And so if we're not going to ban them, then the regulations must be enforced at the end of the day somehow. Um, but at, you know, I don't like them. I've been the only candidate who's willing to say I just, I just don't like them. I would love for them to be a last mile option. I would love for them to be a practical um, op option for people to move in and around our town. But we just don't have the infrastructure. They're supposed to be ridden on bike lanes, ideally, but we don't have enough bike lanes in and around downtown or even throughout our entire. And you community. don't have enough police to enforce it. To be and, and we're 133 police officers short. Uh, President Trump apparently starting very soon is going to have a roundup through the ICE officials of illegals that are in the country that have court orders for them to be deported. Nashville's not on the list of cities where that appears to be ready to happen, but if you're a mayor and it does come to Nashville, and that's a possibility, what would you instruct the police chief to do? What would you instruct city departments to do? What would you advise Mayor Hall, Sheriff Hall to do in terms of cooperating with ICE officials about a roundup and a deportation of the people here in town that shouldn't be here illegally, say the courts? 
Well, this is, uh, you know, it's a huge issue affecting the lives of a lot of Nashville families. And, you know, and we pride ourselves on this being a welcoming and diverse city. And so I think the mayor has a duty to lead by example and do everything we can to make this community still feel safe for everyone and make sure that our values and the things that we hold dear in this city and we pride ourselves on are protected and working with the departments, whether it be the sheriff's department, the police department and others to make sure everyone feels safe in our so, community. So no cooperation at this point because that wouldn't be welcoming? Is that what you're saying? Don't The police department should not it, Within the scope of the law, to the extent we don't have to cooperate, then I think we should do everything we can to make this a safe community. At some point, federal preemption steps up and they're going to control what happens here. I, I think that, you know, we have limitations under the law and so to the extent that we have any flexibility in this, then I think we should do everything we can to make sure this is a safe city and welcoming city for everyone. Very quickly as we close, if you're not successful in August 1st, and there's a runoff, will you be endorsing anybody else? You've been critical of just about every other opponent, so it doesn't look like you're particularly aiming towards being endorsing anybody else. Yes or no, will you do that? I plan to be in the runoff, and I plan to be the next mayor of Nashville. I'm working hard every single day from dawn to dusk and and in getting out there and working across the city of Nashville to improve people's quality of life. General Clements, thank you so much for being on the air. Good luck in the August 1st Thank election. you very much. I appreciate and it. And thank you for joining us on Inside Politics. Hope you'll be back here again for a future show. If you can't get enough politics in the meantime, go to the Loose Channel 5 website. You'll find my Capital View commentary there. The Zoo commentary posted every Friday afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you back here next time. Goodbye.